What is going on everybody? Lou and Mary here for the Long Island Dash Experience. Uh, today we are actually going to be talking about another topic where as you guys saw for our short yesterday, uh, we are about a couple days away from getting back on the road and starting to record some ride-alongs. But in the can't meantime, wait. I cannot wait as well. I can't wait to just get out there and start delivering some people some food, well, you can't doing wait some grocery shopping. Can't wait to get out of the, some ha get out of the house. Anybody who's missed the uh, the community posts, um, I did have to have a minor surgery, just a gallbladder removal, but it's still surgery nonetheless, and there's recovery time, and you know, so mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking forward to getting back out there because I am kind of just bored being cooped up in the house. It's <laughs> not what I like to do. So yeah, and, and it's very hard for him to stay still. Very and, hard for me to stay still. Yeah. I'm not good at it. I'm, no. I, I'm not good at following doctor's no, he, orders. We, we, we went to go barbecue. I'm like, no, let me pick up the <laughs> charcoal. Let me do this. It's yep. like doing yeah. it all. I, I'm, like, I'm, I'm just not good at it. I'm not good at it. Yeah. But I, I'm. We're almost set, ready to go. I can't. Like I said, I can't wait to get back out there. But. I was browsing YouTube and I found a topic that I thought was actually really interesting that we should kind of talk about. It's All actually right. not food delivery or even grocery shopping related. It's actually rideshare related. Okay. But as parents and as parents of a teen, and we just obviously we have multiple teens. On, we, we do multiple teens, even though yep. a couple of them are older now. Yep. Uh, you know, we're we're not too far moved from uh, having them in high school and things exactly. like that. And this is something that Uber has just launched. And I'll take a screenshot of this here from their from their website. Teen accounts on Uber. Peace of mind for your for you, freedom, and for them. What? Yes. And it says how here. Is that, how is that peace of mind when you're going to yeah. be nervous that your kid is in an Uber with a stranger? Right. Well, let's see what this says here. Okay. All right. It says, how is this going to give me peace of mind? Between school, practice, the mall, and friends, your teen has places they need to be, and so do you. That, of course, we know. As parents, it's, it's difficult. You are a taxi right. service. Uh, with a teen account, they'll have the freedom. They will have the freedom to request their own rides. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, boy. And you'll be notified every time they do. So, all right, first of all, can, so, I, can I we just click the pause button already right. and say, so they're going to have the freedom to spend our money? Yeah, I would, that's a, the first thing I was thinking. Yeah, that's the first thing. That's not even what we're going to be talking about. That's that's the first thing. Yeah. Right. Plus, Read on. Uh, plus, with live features... Uh, I lost my place. Plus, with live safety features and real-time updates, you can follow along from pick-up to drop-off. One thing that will never change is our commitment to helping keep <laughs> Wait, your, wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. So they're going to watch you, your kid, because I guess it's all like GPS. Yeah, we'll have live real-time updates. So you, can, you can follow along. You can follow along with them. Right. While they're in the car with a stranger. Right, but they could still steal your child. Right, right, exactly, exactly. Just because you can see, you can see them steal your child. Yeah, and and I I, I was reading, you can watch them. Bye bye. I, I was reading this, and I think that's something I think is a very interesting point. What they think is going to be like, what's going to make this like all okay? Um, okay, so that that that's okay. Yeah, they, they according to them, okay. Acqu according to Uber, for I don't know whose idea this could have possibly this is, been. I am just right off the bat. This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. What, what parent? Comment below. Yeah. What parent is going to approve this? Right. 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 Insa insanity. Okay. Okay. One Keep thing. Going. All right. One thing. Maybe it gets better. Yeah. One thing that will never change is our commitment to helping keep teens safe while using Uber. Together, let's get them moving. So I also want to just point something out here. You can tell already by by, by their first things they're talking about here that like they don't even think it's a good idea. Yeah. Because they're already coming up with the fact like, yeah, we get it. Like, your kids, there's a chance that you are putting your kids in danger. So we're going to do everything in our path. And then if something happens, then it's going to be an apologetic email. Uh, we're, so, we're so sorry that this happened. Uh, Uber would like to, uh, does not condone this kind of behavior. And we would like to condemn the driver who did what they did. You know, right? It, it's all you're going to get is, is going to be a company response if something right. happens. And, and, or... They wash their hands of it. It's, it's oh, they, they, it never happened. You're an independent contractor. That's your 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 yeah. thing. Yeah, we yeah. don't. We have no liability. No, not not we only have that. No liability. Not only that, but as a customer, you chose to sign up for this. Right. So yeah, they they they're just gonna be the and, middleman. And I mean, it would be interesting to to log into this and see what kind of waiver you need to be signing. Yeah. 
I don't, you know, I won't, I won't blame Uber for mishaps. Oh, sure. Oh, and who's going to be signing up for that? <laughs> right. No one. No, nobody. No, well, it's, it's going to be there, but you're just not, they're not going to read it because they know that people don't read fine print. Anyway. Right. And it's only on the bottom and it's little tiny print. Right. Okay. Request at their fingerprints. Fingertips. Uh, fingertips. I can, I can read. That's why I had surgery. I can't. Yeah. Request at their fingertips. With the power to request a ride anytime, your teams will always have a reliable way to find rides. Go where they need to go and get home to you. So now, also, not for nothing, if you have a teen who might be a little rebellious... Right. I, I don't need to ask mom and dad if I can go here. Okay. Obviously, so, the, the okay, parents are going to so know. Say, but, so, yeah. so say you need Uber, for whatever reason, to pick up your kid... The kid requests the, the car ride. Or, say the kid didn't even tell you that they were going somewhere and they needed to request. Do you have to okay it? That's a good question. Like, what, I, what, I would, what I, is I would the, sure as hell hope so. Right. What is the... this? The kid requests the, the Uber. What's the next step? Like, what happens next? Right. Do, do you get a notification? Because it's saying you're notified... When it happens, do you right. have to okay it? I, I feel like you should have to approve it. You should it. have to approve it. My guess is there's probably not going to be that. Comment yeah. below if you guys have any idea. If you do have to approve it or not, that'd be very interesting. Comment below if you have any idea about any of this. Yeah. we. So, like, honestly, I just saw this on a video. I saw Pedro posted a video. I then chose not to watch the video because I didn't want to, uh, I, I, I didn't want any opinions to sway what we talked about. did you read any about. of this or this is your first time reading? I've read through some of it, but okay. I'm even just kind of scrolling through because I didn't really want to form much of an opinion. Okay. And be able to have that opinion as raw as possible like okay. you will oh, on this particular video. All so right. we So... So, so no, we, we don't know anything about this. This is our and first we don't reaction. Ride, we don't do ride share. So, yeah. like, yeah. This is our, I, the only time I've done ride share is if it's really, really necessary. Oh, we don't drive ride share, but as a customer, as I mean, customers, I've done, we've done, know, we've done, done it. it like a couple times. As customers, yeah. yeah but I've never actually driven, like, I would never do it personally because I just feel like as a driver, it's just an unsafe thing. I'm not a big fan of it. I, mm -hmm. I know you would never do it. No. Um, but, yeah, so this is raw. Uh, having those anybody else's mm -hmm. opinions and forming that opinion right now, but it was a pretty easy general opinion to think about just being parents. Yeah. Um, highly rated drivers on every ride. Your team will always be matched with highly rated and experienced drivers. Before anyone can drive with Uber, they must undergo a thorough background check. They're also rescreened every year. Is that true? Even if it is true. Even if what it kind is of true. background check are they doing? Are they going to your house? Are they they're, meeting they're, you they're, personally? They're no. Doing, they're doing a criminal background check. They're going to make sure that nobody's on any kind of uh, you know a, a list. Right, and they, I, I'm sure. I I guess with Uber, like with driver, do they do they um, do anything like as far as like look into your license, like any like tickets? Uh, but now, they, they, but now they're going to have to really look at, at your history of if you've had any issues, accidents like what, 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 like uh, if you're on like what's the list? Uh, oh yeah, the uh, the the child, the, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever that's called. Comment below. What is it called? Yeah. Um, so they're going to have to like look at that list now too, which I'm sure they're not doing a background check for that because why would they have? But but it's saying that, that you're a good driver, so they're also need to be looking into your, your driving, driving history, right? So driving history, which I feel like that should be a thing anyway. And you're driving I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Even as an Uber, even as like an Uber customer, like I would want these people to be screened more than once a year. Well, that's the thing, more than once a year. But not, but not only that. I yep. mean, not not just even for the teen. I'm just saying in general, like recredential everyone, like every, at least quarterly. Yeah, I agree because 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 just because somebody hasn't done something, then somebody can always be a first time offender right or even even if they get like a speeding ticket you know mm -hmm. a year is a long time right. for like something to happen right. in that year something I, could happen with the like, like god forbid god forbid you know you know joe schmo he's driving he's had a bad day he picks up a kid he takes it out on that kid right he doesn't have a record but you know what Things happen. Right. People, people all of a sudden flip because something happens that they all of a sudden flip. They get into an argument with their spouse. Mm -hmm. They get into an argument with their kid. But they get into an argument with their kid. They take it out on somebody else's kid. Mm -hmm. So this does nothing for me. Yeah. How, what is this supposed to assure me of? It doesn't assure me of anything. It doesn't, right. th it doesn't make me want to put my kid in the car with some freaking stranger. Right. Live tip tracking. Whenever your teen requests a ride, you can follow the location directly in the app and get status updates with live trip tracking okay teen trips are destination locked 
meaning that drivers can't change the destination of their trip. Only teens can. Wait, what? Right. So the drivers can't. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm oh, no, just I... like. I'm just like. That's my reaction because. They're teenagers. Right. They're teenagers. They're teenagers. They're teenagers. They're teenagers teena- I hate teenagers, to say teenagers lie. And they, they, they lie. They not all teenagers. Not, not all teenagers. But, 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 they, but they do. That's, you know, the ones that want to do things do. Right. The bad teenagers lie. And yeah. I don't. So the I teenagers just, can, the teenage can make it look like they're going someplace else. I don't want mommy and daddy to know that I'm going to, you know, Susie's house. Well, supposedly you can see. Not, not the teenager changes it. Right, when they get picked up, they can, or... The teens can change it. Only your teen. Why is that a feature? It should be only the parent can change it. Right, exactly. Exactly. So, I, I don't like that. Always on safety. All the ride share safety features you know and love, like pin verification and ride check, will always be automatically turned on and cannot be turned off. So, if your teen chooses to set it up, the audio recording feature will also be automatically turned on for every trip. They'll always have access to our on-trip safety features, such as being able to call 911, contact support, and report an issue through that. Wait, what is this audio? Is that something that like Uber does? Like, if you're in an Uber, like it's recording audioly. Um, I, audio- I, I, I think that drivers do set up uh, recordings for their own safety. Okay. Um, which I which I think is a smart thing to do. They should mm-hmm. definitely have a dash cam because for their own safety mm-hmm. purposes. You know, because I think a lot of drivers also are in a very dangerous situation as well. Right. I think drivers are in a more dangerous situation than even the passengers are, in my right. opinion. But now when we're talking about kids, now we're kind of we're kind of doing a whole other thing. And the thing is, like, Uber always it was, it was against their policy. And what are they considering teen? Anybody under eighteen? Uh, it doesn't it doesn't specify. But but I know that Uber it, under their policy, Uber drivers have not been allowed to pick up teens, and they right. and, and they can get deactivated for picking up teens. Plus, it could be even like it can be even worse. It can end up being a felony or something like right. that. Something ever happens, so no no Uber driver would ever want to pick up a teen. And as a parent, you oh, shouldn't be I mean, having your teen going into just like Uber. just like there are bad people, there are bad Uber drivers that do want to do bad things. Right, so, right, yeah. right, right, exactly. So to Ugh. me, here's the issue here also is, once again, the, the teen has a little bit too much control yeah. over the situation. Yeah. And I hate to say it, teens... Uh, they find a way. N- but not only that, they're very, very... Uh, they feel like they all feel like they're they're invincible. They feel mm-hmm. like they're invincible. Yep. They feel like nothing could ever happen to them. Yeah, nothing we could know, happen to me. We know as parents of teens, we tell our kids all the time, drive safe. Uh yeah, of course we drive safe. Oh no, no, I'm not gonna drive safe. Just to joke around. Yeah. You know, they they don't they, teens think they're invincible and that nothing mm-hmm. can happen to them. You know? Um they they don't read the news. When they see the news that something happens to a teen, a lot of them don't, you know, think, Oh, that could possibly happen to me. Right. So teens a lot of teens have their guard down Mm -hmm. and are not prepared in fact most teens have their have their faces in their cell phones yep that much guard down Mm -hmm. at this point you know they're too busy watching tiktok to actually be aware of their surroundings you know they might be in a dangerous situation so teens should not have the teens should not have the ability to change any of these features the teen should have the ability to do nothing First thing, I don't think teens should even have the ability to even do right. this, first, first right. of all. But if they're going to have this ability and a parent is going to be this trustworthy of, an, of a random Uber driver and their teens, mm-hmm. they're going to trust their teens because they're going to, you know, they're going to trust their teens. If they're going to give their teens access, they're, they've, they've already now trusted their teens. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. Yeah. But um, the, the teens should not have any access to be able to change any of these features just like with anything else how you have cell phone programs where mm-hmm. as parents we can determine when a cell phone is shut off at the yeah. night you know we get these pin numbers and things like that only we should be able to change this stuff teens should not have to be able to have the access to go into their uber app right. and make these adjustments right because this feature it sounds like it should only be used for those specific times right like school you need to go home right or you're home and you need to get to school like yeah and and, and honestly i mean the school thing also has no concern too because again these drivers now coming to going to schools where there's a lot of other kids it's just it's mm-hmm. very concerning because there are a lot of just bad people out there right well i especially um some schools like if you're if you're signing your kid in you need to go in and sign the kid in you know like it's not like you can just drop them off so right. yeah 
Uh, so here's some FAQs. Let's see if we can get a couple answers here. Uh, where can teens take trips? Teens will be able to take trips that start and end in any city where teen accounts are live. Okay, that's, yeah, okay. Um, where are they available? How do teens pay for rides? Teens must use the full payment method attached to the Guardian's family profile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can teens bring other riders? I would hope this is going to say no. Yeah. <laughs> I just said, I hope it's going to say no. Yes. When trip requests come in from a teen account, a teen is allowed to bring other riders with them, but those other riders must be 13 years old or older. Guest riders aged 13 to 17 must have permission from a parent or legal guardian. All teens have to sit in the back and should buck up. Now, if I'm a driver, like, I would think a lot of drivers would not even want to accept these rides. No. Comment below if you do ride share. Would you accept one of these rides? Because that I'm kind of curious about. I would think a lot of drivers would not want to accept these right. rides. Especially now if, you know, if, if, if Joey is saying, oh, can I bring Jimmy along with me? So they're saying this this app is available for 13 to 17 year olds. So 13. So it's 13. Mm-hmm. What did that say? All teens what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All teens have to sit in the back. Uh, can teens turn off the safety features? Uh, the safety features for teen accounts on Uber are built into the experience and cannot be turned off, including live tip tracking, pin verification, uh, ride, ride check, and Uber safety line. In addition, ride check will be adjusted to be more sensitive during teen trips. If the app detects someone may have something may have gone wrong, like possible crash or unexpected long stop, the teen and driver will receive a message to make sure they're okay. Audio recording is the only feature that must be set up by the teens. So the so so they can't shut off these other they can't shut off the features like the tracking. Mm -hmm. Okay, which makes sense. Uh, the audio feature has to be set up by them, which I don't like. I think the adults should be able to would set yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Drivers may still choose to record trip audio if they do. The same privacy standards will apply if a driver has audio recording set up. Okay. How can I contact my teen's driver? While a teen is on a ride requesting through a teen account, guardians will be able to contact the drivers directly through the app. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And what happens to my teen's account when they turn 18? Uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I, I think you've, you've heard what we think. What do you, what do you guys think about this? I, I, I think would it's never, a disaster I would never let, I would, I would never let James do this. Never. Like, we can never. be desperate. I will drop what I'm doing always yeah, to definitely. pick him up, drop him off, you know, his friends, ev yeah, everything. We make, arrange we make arrangements. We, you know, that's why... He, you have carpools. That's why you have grandparents. You're not not have great not that that they have to. But like you have to have people in your life that is, when you're when you're a parent, there has yeah. to be somebody you can go to when you're in a bind. That luckily right now the girls are home, so they're our go to when yeah. we're in a bind. But you know, reach out to your community if you need somebody to bring your kid yeah. from here to there Some, and everywhere. Somebody that like, you know you're gonna be able to trust. I would never yeah. trust a random Uber driver no. ever. No. So, but you know, listen. To, if you guys do, of course, we're not judging if anybody would. This is just right. our opinion. Mm -hmm. This is what we think. Um, and you know, listen. That's you know, everybody's got an opinion. So yeah. if you think differently, that's okay too. Com to comment below and uh, let you know what your opinion is. And yep. you know, don't no judgment either way. So nope. no judgment. Appreciate you guys watching this. Like I said, hope we get these ride-alongs going. Yep. I'm definitely missing it, and I'm sure you guys are missing it too because uh, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun to edit. They're a lot of fun mm -hmm. to watch, and I know you guys yeah, enjoy we, watching Yeah, we were them. planning on doing a little uh, vlog of the of the whole procedure and everything. It just... That didn't was, happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. That didn't happen. Life. Life. <laughs> so, uh, until next time, I'm Lou, she's Mary, and we are the Long Island Dash Experience. See, See ya. ya.